Here we have a test paper on exponents and logarithms. I'm calling it test 8 since it is on chapter 8 of Nelson book. Now question number 1 here is evaluate each of the following. We've got three parts here. My suggestion is when you go through this test paper, copy the question, answer them, stop the video meanwhile and then look into my solutions. That way is you'll feel good and you'll feel prepared for the test. And if you don't really get any concept, you can always see the examples which are related to these test papers already solved in this set of videos uh, and then gain confidence okay well I'll provide you solutions for all these questions also and that will also help you to understand better okay here is question number one evaluate each of the following a log to the base 3 of 27 divided by log to the base 5 of square root 5 so the strategy will be to write 27 as 3 to the power of something and 5 as because base is 5 so in terms of 5 right so so we can write this as log to the base 3 of 3 to the power of 3 correct and denominator could be written as log to the base 5 5 to the power of half correct this first question is a very basic question to teach you the concept and slowly we are getting into very tough questions in this set now, so that gives you log 3 of 3 is 1 and that is power rule. It comes 3, right? So 3 to the power of 3, numerator is 3 and denominator is half, correct? And so we get 6 as our answer. So that's the solution for the first one. Now the second one, log to the base of 2 over 5 of 25 divided by 4 and it is 1 seventh of all this. So basically, all this becomes to the power of 1 over 7 well first we should write this in terms of 2 over 5 so what I can write this as so I can write this as 1 seventh of log to the base 2 over 5 of we should write this as 2 over 5 we can write this as 2 over 5 to the power of minus because this is reciprocal right minus 2 right do you understand so 2 square is this is minus okay minus right so and 5 squared is 25 correct and now we can write this as so so this becomes my 1 over 7 1 over 7 times minus 2 right so this could be written as minus 2 over 7 do you get it so so that is how we can solve this question right now. so there was no point in taking this to the exponent and bringing it down so what I did is I just brought minus 2 down change my mind okay so that is how you do B C it's kind of interesting and I find students doing a lot of mistakes here 36 to the power of log of 6 1 minus 1 so here what is log of 6 of 1 anything log of 1 is always 0 right so we get here 36 to the power of log 6 of 1 is 0 right so we get 0 minus 1 so it is 36 to the power of minus 1 so we get 1 over 36 as our answer right so these are the three solutions for individual three questions I hope you understand the concept and move on to other questions of this test thank you and all the best